Hello, this is Holger from Autogefühl. Another time with a new car. Not this one. This is an Opel Corsa built 32 years ago, the Corsa A. And this is the Corsa B. This is the Corsa C. This is the Corsa D. And this is the new Corsa, the Corsa E, or in England, a Vauxhall Corsa. It is the fifth generation of this famous car. Opel sold more than 12 million pieces in the last 32 years. Now the bestseller comes with elements of the smaller brother Adam and new engines. The new Corsa is offered as a three and a five door version and offers slightly larger exterior dimensions and finally a new infotainment system. Let's take a look at it in detail. Let's have a look at the exterior of the car. The Corsa B was called the bubble car. The Corsa C and D became much more serious. And the Corsa E, I think, has the most dynamic face of all Corsas. The ring-shaped headlights with LED daytime running lights as well as a wider face and chrome elements create a stronger appearance. In the same direction, goes the dropping contour on the bonnet. In the side profile, we can see elements of the middle segment car insignia with these fluent design lines. And at the rear, the light shim of the front headlights is repeated. Opel say the new Corsa is a grown-up car with only four meter length. The interior is more settled than the one of the Adam. To make it calmer in the car, Opel claims they now have a better noise insulation. The instrument cluster shows the classic two round dials with an info screen in between. The new 7-inch color screen in the center console is the heart of the new infotainment system called IntelliLink. It provides networking opportunities with the navigation app or TuneIn for worldwide radio reception and internet podcasts. Apple and Android devices are compatible and everything can be controlled by voice. Nach 570 Metern links halten auf Köln. Links halten auf Köln. But the navigation app called Bringo has in our test big problems to show the right way. Maybe we are unlucky, maybe it is a general problem. Opel must improve. About the other technology, you can now order big scene and headlamps with cornering light, a blind spot warning system and a front camera with traffic sign recognition. Same for the lane departure warning, a high beam assistant and a distance and front collision warning. In an emergency, it shows a red warning signal in the windshield. A large panoramic roof and an ambient lighting 
to make the interior a bit homely. As did Ford, Opel or Vauxhall now also use a 1.0-litre turbocharged three-cylinder direct injection engine. The company builds the full aluminium engine in two power levels of 90 horsepower and 115 horsepower. Furthermore, you will have a 1.4-litre turbo with 100 horsepower and two naturally aspirated engines with 1.2 and 1.4 litre. The diesel lineup consists of a 1.3 CDTI with 75 or 95 horsepower. Let's drive the car. The center of the vehicle was adjusted and along with a stiffened front subframe and the retuned damper stability, you have a better connection to the road now. With the adaptive dampers, you can choose between comfort and sport driving. That makes the suspension stiffer and the steering wheel gives more feedback. In general, the new Opel Corsa is more sporty than a comfortable car. In future, we also expect the top sports version Causa OPC. Opel marketing director Martin Gorka called the, by the way, 4.12 meter short new Opel Causa an adult car to say that he already comes out a little from the small car segment. The seats are very comfortable for a car of the B segment, but here a little bit short for people with long legs. We say that the car is a big step forward and Opel is certainly more secure top positions in the sales. But the competitors are not sleeping and rework the advantages in the field of assistance systems. I think with this car, 
Opel is able to continue the successful story of the Corsa. The price of the car starts at 12,000 euros. With a higher trim level, it may be cost 15,000 euros. You can buy it end of the year.